A promising approach to the treatment of Duchenne muscular dystrophy aims to restore functional dystrophin via AAV mediated or adeno associated virus mediated gene transfer therapy. There are a number of gene therapies in development for the treatment of Duchenne. Um, however, there are important differences in the approach. Um, SRP9001 is also known as Dalin Dystrogene Moxiparvec. It is an investigational gene uh, drug therapy, and it is administered via a single uh, IV uh, dose, or so it's administered via infusion. Uh, SRP9001 is unique and rationally designed. It is designed to address the root cause of Duchenne, which is the absence or near absence of dystrophin. And the intent really is to slow or halt progression of the disease. Um, I mentioned that there are a number of gene therapies in development. Um, there are also exon skipping therapies that uh, address the root cause of the disease. Uh, but when it comes to uh, gene therapy, uh, although the uh, approaches are different, there are three common elements. And those three elements are the vector, the promoter, and the uh, transgene. And the specific characteristics of each of the, these three elements are important because they contribute to the overall uh, efficacy and safety profile of these various therapies. So when you think about the SRP9001 construct, uh, the vector that was selected is known as AAV RH74. Um, and the role of the vector is really to deliver the transgene to target cells. And AAV RH74 was selected due to its high tropism or uh, tissue selectivity for skeletal and cardiac muscle. And it was also selected due to its low potential for pre-existing antibodies, which is an important characteristic um, of a, a gene therapy. Uh, that second element is a promoter. And the role of the promoter is really to drive or turn on expression uh, of the protein in uh, appropriate uh, target cells. And the promoter that is used in the SRP9001 uh, construct is known as MHCK7. And this promoter has been shown to have um, drive high expression in skeletal muscle, including the diaphragm, as well as in the heart. Um, and it has also been shown to have minimal or undetectable um, expression in off-target tissues. And then the third element is the transgene. And the role of the transgene is to code for uh, the uh, protein of interest. In the case of Duchenne, that protein of interest is dystrophin. And one of the biggest design challenges in developing a gene therapy for Duchenne muscular dystrophy is the, that that gene, which is known as the DMD gene, that's the gene that codes for dystrophin, it's one of the largest in the human body. And so its size exceeds the packaging capacity of AAV. And so um, the, the gene needs to be modified or shortened in order to fit into that AAV. Um, we do know a lot from case reports, or you can say um, experiments in nature, as well as preclinical studies, that not all parts of the dystrophin protein are mandatory to um, preserve a high level of function. And so we've learned a lot from these case reports and decades of, of research. And uh, this is how we came up with the SRP9001 transgene. It is rationally designed um, and uh, thoughtfully designed to include those components of the gene that code for the critical parts of that dystrophin protein.